Hey guys, so today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. So today I'm having my best friend, China, draw six unique shapes and I'm gonna create them into art. I really have been wanting to share with you more about what I do on a more day-to-day -day basis. And part of that is art. Art has always consumed my life. You can see over here, I actually have a few pictures that I drew through studio classes in college. Um, I unfortunately only got to do a few classes during night school and never finished my degree, but I still continue to practice the craft. Before we get started with today's video, I just wanted to thank my best friend, China for taking some time to help me in the preparation. And later in the video, hopefully, she'll be giving us a little review of how she thinks things turned out. Okay, so whenever you're ready, just we're gonna do five of them. I think that's a good number. Okay, cool. You can touch the screen too, it doesn't matter. Boom. Gallery. And then the plus and the screen size. Does it have to be a solid shape? I mean, it would be, that's good. Um, oh. I'm trying to fill it in, but no, I guess it doesn't have to be. Two. I'm gonna do that. Hmm. It's kind of hard to just come up with abstract shapes. Just let the pen move. <laughs> okay. And this is the last one. Cool. excited about um probably this this one right here where I don't know it kind of looks like a dancing sperm so <laughs> I don't know it's I don't really know what to think of it I just let the pen move as you said okay just like that <laughs> you've done your duty yeah. I'll see you on the other side <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see you <laughs> so Shape number one, to be honest with you, I might've drawn this, but I kind of like it. So I'm going to create something from it. So I'm going to always start in a new layer. And one thing that I like to do before I get too heavy into the drawing phase is I actually use Procreate and I'm opening up Sketch Procreate Pencil. So now I'm just going to take my pencil and kind of just find what I can make out of this. So I'm going to actually pinch and zoom around and change up the positioning, but I kind of see an elephant in this already. Um, and I don't think I can unsee it. So I think I'm going to draw an elephant or a humanoid elephant, something that's not like a traditional elephant. The sketching just helps so that when I'm ready to fully put in my sketches, there's just a lot less confusion and I know exactly what I need to do next and my line work can just be super clean. I like to have kind of an illustrative style. Now I kind of want these to be simple. I did a series of these already that I really liked. Um, and I kind of kept it illustrative style. And so I want that to kind of hold true on this as well. You gotta love technology. It makes drawing so much less like intimidating for me. And now I have the bones for my Serious lines. So I really love using the ink tool under syrup. It's this really nice, like fluid type of line illustrating tool. Um, but this Procreate tool is amazing. I love using this tool. And then the eye, I want it to be a little magnified. So that's why I'm intentionally drawing it so it hangs off, but you don't see it outside of this. 
This one's super simple. So the next thing that I'm going to do is just add a bunch of shadows before I start to color in. Okay, so now I'm going to take the opacity down to like 30% on that. So elephants are typically gray, but I want to break the roll a little bit and do a blue-gray elephant. So I don't like filling in on my outline layer, so I'm actually just going to take this and just quickly line the inside of the entire shape that I want filled. And then I'll add another layer to do the detailing over. Like I said, it helps to be able to rotate, twist, and turn all of this. Pinch to zoom, you name it. I love working on this digital drawing stuff. It's so much easier than pen to paper for me. And I think this is a perfect natural break to talk about today's sponsor. The first thousand to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Skillshare's platform allows you to learn things about graphic design, animation, illustration, music, photography, UX, UI design, web design, web development, business analytics, freelance and entrepreneurship, leadership and management, and marketing. And all of their classes are set up into chunk sizes that allow you to learn with whatever time you have between things. They truly offer education at a reasonable cost. And if you have never touched anything Adobe, Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, Premiere Pro, After Effects, you name it, I definitely recommend you check out their videos and really jumpstart your career. I recommend you go check out the class Intro to Procreate Illustrating on the iPad by Brooke Glasser. Yeah. So now the next shape. Oof. I do not know what I'm going to do with this. Kind of reminds me of Squidward. <laughs> this idea kind of stems from a video that I saw from 10 100. Maybe I should do 10 100 style of an eye in here. He does like this oval, then has this squiggly part in the center. I'm going to break the, the border a little bit and just add a few straggly chin hairs. I think it's necessary for the vibe of this one. Yeah, I think that's it. <laughs> Sometimes these get really funky, but I kind of like it. So going back into my drawing utensils, drawing utensils, I'm going to use that syrup tool again. He needs some nose hairs, doesn't he? I think that's in order. Same thing goes with this ear now. Does he need an earring? Do we give him a little bit of a gauged ear? Maybe he gets a gauged ear. I think I like where this is at. Add a few hair lines in here. Now we're going to color it in. Well, it's shadows and then color it in. So both of these layers, I want to take down to about 30% opacity again. The cool thing about doing it this way, drawing in these shadows, just lets you really see what the colors look like when you start to fill it in. I think it serves him right to just have one little mole somewhere. So we're going to just draw in a mole. There's the mole. Maybe we'll even let the mole have a hair growing out of it. So now for the fun part, the color. Breaking my rolls, I'm telling you, it's fine. So, snakes, they're known for having those crazy sliver type eyes, are they not? So let's give him those slivers. Snakes have scales, do they not? So I'm not going to spend this time just like drawing a bunch of scales um, in the sketching section but I am going to put a few here just to give me an idea of kind of what to expect. Now it's time for the real deal, the real lines. Oh no, I missed a spot. Oh, here it is. Let's hope that worked. And it did, yay. Okay, so I'm now partially done with this third one. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. I didn't even mean to do that little lisp. But what I'm going to do is take the shadows layer now and just add some depth around everything. But my poor camera is probably not going to hold out on me for the, all of this. So 
I'll continue to screen record what's going on on the iPad and I might not have this kind of video over this next few parts, but I'll see you guys when they're all done and I'll have China go ahead and give me her final thoughts on my drawings. 72 hours later. So shape number one was this one and I think I might have drawn this. So before I show you what I what I did, I want you to take one guess on each of them. What do you see in this? Oh God, I see like a duck, like a duck face. You see a duck face? Yeah. Okay. Oh! I mean the little <laughs> elephant. I was right when it was an animal. Yeah. Um, I like it. Kind of looks like a, a Squidward elephant. It reminds elephant. me of Squidward a little bit. Yeah, shape. bold and brash, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. He's very humanoid. Yeah, definitely. Gave it like that vignette, like old profile type of view. Kind of like it. So that was number one. And then number two. Ooh. What do you think of that one is? So I can kind of see like a gingerbread man. Yeah. Kind of in it. Yeah, with a stumpy little arm. That's my me. guess. Oh God, I'm so I'm scared. I saw it red <laughs> too, but I thought that was too on the nose, so I did something completely different. Oh God, okay. This one's very interesting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically just drew my side profile. <laughs> no, stop it. Okay, I like it. It's very just, abstract. Just wanted to have fun with it and draw a weird face. Might look like an old man. I was like, he needs a balding spot on the top of his head. I like the way he drew the holes. I don't know. I think this one was probably the coolest one I did. It's very abstract. I like and it. And then I think that your like favorite one that you were like most curious about oh, yeah. was this one. <laughs> Actually this one might be my favorite from all of them. See I guessed it looks like a like a sperm cell kind of swimming, but I guess it could also be a snake swimming. But I also kind of see like a I don't know, like I see like a, a like a piece of paper that's in the wind, kind of is what, also what I'm seeing. You ready? I'm so ready. Oh shit! <laughs> uh oh, one of the things got rearranged. Let me really quickly reorder it. Oh my god, it's very like Dr. Seuss like snake. I was pretty I was pretty on the nose about a snake, but there re really isn't a whole lot to do with this kind of shape. So this one was. Probably like my favorite. I like the coloration on it. And I did like these little scales and gave them like a little highlight and drop shadow, but nothing like crazy. Oh, I love the detail. And then this one, I hate. I hate how this one turned out. But what do you see? Like a, like a, a bodysuit type of thing. Like, because there's like the boobs and then the bodysuit, like a swimsuit, like a one piece swimsuit. I didn't, I didn't even think that. Um, it's not an article of clothing. I drew this random oh. little character. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't really like it. I like it. It's kind of like an evil Dr. Seuss, like, bug I kind thing. of thought about giving these, like, red, yellow, and blue, like, Christmas lights almost, but I left it pretty simple. To it. It's cute. It's very, like, simplistic, cartoony. I like it. Not my best work. And then <laughs> this one totally threw me for a loop. And so I did something baffling, like way mm. out there, way out there on this one. I don't even know what I was trying to draw with this one. I think I, I had like a coral in mind, like a little, like a little piece of coral. I hated this one. Oh God. Okay. Well, knowing you, it's probably still really good. I took this so far outside of the I'm, other I'm ones. really this curious. This is like the most unique one out of the oh. bunch. Oh! I put like a whole bunch of character faces in there. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Oh my god, wait a minute. I see you have an art style that's starting to arise. I like it. I mean, hey, you did, you did what you could. I went so random on it. It kind of reminds me of like Inside Out. Like the characters yeah, inside like out. Yeah, how bold my color choices are. Yeah, that's that's the vibe. I mean, I like how vibrant it is. I like that one. Looks like uh, that girl from Corpse Bride. What's her name? Emily, Corpse Bride. Oh, yeah. That's what I she kind of looks I'm like. Giving you a name. But then I did this one last one. 
I get like either pumpkin or for some reason I'm getting a swan out of this one. Uh. Oh, well, a pumpkin. That's <laughs> that's something I honestly thought you were going to do from the beginning, but it's wearing a diaper. It is. It's and it's crying. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to have a diaper and crying. <laughs> that that was definitely a new thing. I like how you did the tears with the orange. It's complimentary. Really nice. And then the white on it. I don't know. All the colors kind of meshed. It's like really simple, but it's I like it. I really just had to get this one done. We did this one last, so I was like <laughs> hashing it together. I like it. I think this one was the fastest out of them all. So, which one was your favorite? Um, I mean, I think the... It's a mix between, like, the... All the different faces and the pumpkin, actually. The pumpkin? <laughs> I like the pumpkin. It was... It kind of caught me off guard. It was just kind of stupid. Like, I liked it. it. It... I just liked... It was a crying pumpkin. Okay, so I don't know if you guys noticed, but China and I are wearing the same little number. Uh, unintentionally, China was like, I want something to wear around the house. And she went to Target with me today and picked out literally, for some reason, this dress that I got for Christmas, I think a year or two ago, uh, happens to still be sold at Target. And she picked it out out of literally hundreds of what what felt like hundreds of options there it's a lot going on at target that's why we're best friends if you guys haven't checked out the sponsor of today's video skillshare is offering a free trial of their skillshare premium so make sure you go check out that link down below and also if you haven't checked out china her stuff will also be in the description box thank you again for drawing these weird random shapes that literally making me struggle yeah, um no problem. <laughs> i definitely think that this is kind of like a fun artsy thing if you're dealing with creative block and they're trying to just i don't know get get yourself some creative time but don't know what to do maybe even just draw for yourself some random blobs so if you guys aren't subscribed yet go ahead and click that red button and ring the bell to get notified every time i upload a new video also, if you have not checked me out on social media, Instagram is my favorite, so I recommend you go check it out. Without further ado, you guys, please have a wonderful rest of your day. Be safe. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Peace out. So if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please hit the red bell. Oh my gosh. The red bell? <laughs> the red bell. <laughs>